say we want to answer a question with this um, sample Google Analytics data set in BigQuery, um, like how many sessions were there by state? Uh, and if we wanted to What if we want to what if we want to answer a question with this Google Analytics uh, sample data set like what was our something advanced like what was our penetration by state um, so how many sessions did we have per state based on how many people live in that state uh, so what was our what kind of like rough estimate for like what percentage of the population of that state um, visited the site on any given day um, so we can look like where we're relative, our site is relatively more popular than other states. Um, so to do that, we're going to need to do what's called joining uh, data sets together because we don't have population of, of states in this Google Analytics data set, right? But thankfully, um, BigQuery comes with a few sample um, public data sets, other I would call them public data sets, that have things like census data. So we have census data by zip code. We just look at you know the zip code and the population um, and we also have um, and this is for a bunch of it's a really interesting data set actually because it has minimum maximum ages um, zip codes it's, it's an interesting data set to use by gender so you can really do a lot joining this population data with Google Analytics data um, but we're gonna have to do something we haven't done before um, joining to make this happen so we have population by zip where we just have the zip code and the population by a bunch of age brackets. And then we have, let's see, this other data set, and I'm, I'm, I'll link to both of these, the geo US boundary zip code that has US zip codes and what state they're in. Because if we notice um, in this population census data, we have the zip code, but we don't have the state anywhere. We don't know what state these zip codes are in. So we need to join it together with this data set that has the US zip codes that has zip code and it has state. So that's the key use case for joining data sets together where you have a unique key, zip code in this case, to join them, um, aggregate them together, and you have columns in both of the tables that you need to use. So if you have, we have state code in the zip codes table and we have the population in these population by zip table. So what we can do is join those two together um, in order to get population by state. Uh, so what we're going to do is first, let's just write a basic query. And I always start with this query table button in the, the big query console because it you know, makes it really easy to just get a query set up and running. Um, so what we're going to do is from first thing we need to do is say what's our there's a bunch of ways to join. We can do, you know, outer joins and inner joins. And there's all kinds of, you know, there's a link to some blog posts that go through all the different kinds of joins. But for the most part, um, what you're going to want to do uh, is a straight left join if you want to join data together in this way. Um, so generally, we'll just we'll just say left join, um, which means we're going to take everything from this first table. Um, so all the results from here, and we're going to join only rows from the second table um, that match our criteria. So we're going to start, this is our widest data set is the from table. And then left join will be some subset of that, but you're not going to pull everything from the left join table, only rows that match. So first, we're going to have the population by zip. And then from us zip codes, we're going to join, uh, let's see, let's rename this. So we're, our data set is census Euro USA and our table is geo US boundaries. Okay, so this is so a helpful thing when you're naming table when you're joining tables is to give them a, an, a name like an alias afterwards. So we could I just like to use a and B we could also just say like, um, this should be geo US boundaries. US zip codes. Okay, so we could call this census and we could call this uh, zip codes. We'll just call this zip for short. Okay, so first you define your from table. Um, and then if we're doing a left join, you just define your second table. 
And then the key thing here is we have to have an on parameter. Um, and this could just be, uh, let's see, we want to join on zip codes. So census.zip code equal to zip.zip code. You'll see down here, this is the zip codes. It's called zip code. What's it called in here? Oh, here it's zip code with no uh, underscore. So census.zip code equals zip.zip code. Okay, so that's all our join criteria. We could also say, um, you know, if there was a if there was a second code here, uh, you could say code two equals zip dot code two or whatever it is. If there's a second parameter, we could do that, or we could say we could add an or logic here. You can use any logic within this uh, joining on statement, um, but we're just going to join on zip code for for simplicity here. That's all we need. Um, and then we, sele we select uh, which columns, and we're not gonna limit this because we want more than a thousand. Um, let's select which columns do we need from the census and which do we need from the zip codes. So from census, we need um, population. So we're gonna do census.population. Uh, and we're going to say we want from zip codes, we want the state code. So let's see, state code. Uh, zip dot state code. Okay, so we don't just want we want the total population by state. So we don't just want this the population and the state code. We need to use a, what's called a group by function, which we learned about a little bit earlier, and actually sum up the population by state. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the state code. We're going to sum the population. Uh, and we're going to group by state code. And we might as well, while we're here, uh, order by the state code. Sorry, order by, typed order by twice there, order by the state code ascending. And what we'll see is, um, we'll see a, basically a population per state for the 2010 census. It's interesting that there's Alabama and Mississippi. That just might mean there's, <coughs> must mean there's zip codes where they're in both states. So there's actually, there's a handful of these. Interesting. Um, well, well, we're looking for like a rough estimate of the population. So I think it's fine to just use the state itself. Um, but let's gut check this. So California, it's saying 111 million people. Population of California is 37 million. Um, so the, you really always want to gut check your data when you're doing joins like this. I think that's a, it's a very instructive case because often you'll be joining and you'll think that the join gets you where you want to go, but it could be that the data is doing too many joins and you're, you're pulling in data that you don't necessarily want to in the join. Um, so you always gut check your data for sure. And so when I did that, I looked at the census data by population and I actually read the definitions here and it says, um, there's basically, basically what it says is that the, all the breakdowns by minimum age and maximum age, there also are total rows, which is what we want to be pulling. And the total rows are saying the minimum age of the age range, if null, this indicates the row is a total for male, female, or overall population. So what that tells me is that we want to only pull rows when the minimum age is null, the maximum age is null, and gender is null, male or female, if empty, the row is a total population summary. So we only want the total population summaries. So what we need to do is we need to add to our join. Um, so again, like the operative point here, of what we're doing is we're pulling from one table, the census, and then we're joining uh, the zip code table on certain with certain logic. But if we want to also add like a filter to that logic, we can say only pull rows where census minimum age is null maximum age is null and gender is null and that'll get us those totals that we want so again we're you know we're still using group by here as well but all the action is in this join and the logic after it so if we run that again um, and we look at california then we'll see okay we're pulling this 37.25 million so we're off by a little bit but it looks like you know probably in these other border areas, you know, where that'll make up the difference. Um, so yeah, now we're pop, we're properly calculating the population of, of every state, uh, at least approximately. And we can 
join this together again with our Google Analytics data. Um, so this, since if we want to join multi, like three tables together, it can get fairly messy if we're also doing um, a lot of these, you know, conditionals like where's, you know, where parameters basically. Um, so I'll show you in the next video an, an easier way to write these join statements so that your tables are more clear. Because this frankly, you know, it gets the job done, but it doesn't read too well and we can't, it's hard to add anything else to this given its bulkiness as a query. Um, so let's move on to that, a, like a kind of nicer, cleaner way to, to do joins between tables.